Welcome to ReConnect LA, where we bring the parks to you. I'm Monique, Aquatic Facility Manager 1 for Citywide Aquatics, Department of Recreation and Parks. And today I'm with Channel 35 at beautiful Algin Sutton Pool in South LA. And I brought some friends with me today to do a beginner swim class. Bianca is going to be on deck with me today, helping me demonstrate the skills. Now we're going to be using kickboards in the water, so if you have a kickboard or a noodle at home, make sure to bring that and have that close by. Don't forget your sunscreen and let's get started. Now we're going to hold on to the gutter or to the top of the deck and we're just going to get warm. We're going to kick. We don't care about form here, not just yet. We will get there. Kick, kick as fast as you can. Make a big splash. We are just warming up. Good job, everyone. Good. Good. However you like to kick is fine with you, but it is important that you want to keep your arms straight because if you bend your arms, your face is going to come too close to the deck and you don't want to hit it. So keep those arms out straight. If you're working with little ones, tell them to be superwoman or supergirl. Get those arms straight. Kick, 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 kick. You want those feet to be nice at the top of the water. Good job, good job. Let's get warm. Keep kicking, keep kicking. Good job. Keep it up, keep it up. Very nice, very nice. Okay, great. Go ahead and pause for me. So now let's talk about form. So Bianca, if you don't mind, could you sit up for me? We're gonna, or just turn over. Perfect. So Bianca first is gonna show us how we do not want to kick for freestyle, which is what we are learning today. How do we not want to kick? Good, look at her flex feet, look at her bent knees. We don't want that, okay, because you're gonna sink to the bottom. So how do we want to kick, Bianca? Perfect. So you really want to move from your hips. There could be a slight bend in your knees, but really the motion, we want small flutter kicks from your hips and to point your toes. That will help you keep that leg straight. So now, same thing, you're gonna be on the wall. Straight arms, straight legs. Now let's see your kick. Nice. If you're having a hard time getting your legs to the surface, maybe your kick is too big. So make it a little bit smaller. Make it smaller, good. Very nice, get those feet to the top of the water, good. If you're having a difficult time keeping your legs straight, remember you can point your toes, that will help. Very nice. Good job everyone. Okay, so now you can pause, go ahead and grab your kickboards. If you don't have a kickboard at home, that's fine. You could use a noodle. You could use any flotation device or you could just put your hands out in front of you like this or in a streamlined position like this. But we have our kickboards today. So now in order to keep our arms straight, you wanna hold the top of the board right here. Your face can be out of the water for now. That's totally fine. We are going to swim to the first black line, four and a half feet and then come back. I'll say, ready, set, go, okay, you guys? So everyone gets set. Remember, straight legs, small, fast kicks. Ready, set, go. Great job, keeping those arms straight, keeping those legs straight. Amazing. Do you see how their feet are close to the top of the water? Beautiful. Go ahead and come back. Ready, set, go. Amazing, straight arms, straight legs, perfect. Good job, they're almost back. How are you doing, great? Awesome, amazing, good job. Now let's go ahead and put our kickboards on top of the deck, we don't need them at the moment. I really like to do breathing and incorporate that as soon as possible because it gets a little bit tricky for people to do later on in the stroke. So now we're just gonna focus on breathing. You don't need to do kicking. You can just stand on the bottom of the pool and bend over like a 90 degree angle, hold on to the deck, and we're gonna blow bubbles. If you're not comfortable putting your face in the water, now is a great time. If you haven't gotten your hair wet, one, two, three, duck under, okay? You guys have all gotten your hair wet, which is great. So let's just start blowing bubbles. So two things, let's practice first blowing bubbles with your mouth. You're gonna take a deep breath. <gasps> Blow out in the water. Perfect, 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 nice bubbles. Okay, now the second thing we're gonna do, let's try and breathe out through our nose. So pretend that you're blowing your nose in a tissue. You're gonna close your mouth, breathe, and blow your nose like you're blowing in a tissue. Make sure you don't breathe in when your face is in the water. 
Good, good. All right, so now we're gonna incorporate both of those things when we learn to breathe to the side. Right now, try both sides, but then pick your favorite. So what you wanna do is you wanna blow through your nose, blow the air out in the water. Turn your head to the side and breathe in. Blow air out in the water. Turn your head to the side and breathe in. Now if you pick your head up too much, your feet are gonna sink and you're gonna drag, so we don't want that. We want your head to turn to the side. Your cheek stays nice and flat on the water. You wanna look over at your arm and then back down. Breathe out, breathe in. And if you haven't tried it yet, try the other side. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Good, you're getting it, good job. Okay, so now we have two things. We have kicking and we have breathing. So let's go ahead and we'll add those two things together just on the wall. So you're gonna be holding onto the wall right where you were. Remember straight arms, which is very important. You're gonna look down at the pool deck. We're gonna try kicking first and then add the breathing. So ready, set, kick. Good, get the kick going nice and strong. Flutter kick. Good, and now add the breathing. So blow out, breathe into the side. Remember, we don't want our chin to lift. We want our head to stay in the water and breathe to the side. Good job. Good, keep your cheek on the water. Perfect. Amazing, okay, you can go ahead and pause. Now we're gonna put both things together with the kickboard. So the difference this time, instead of holding the top, you're gonna wanna hold the bottom. You can either hold it on the sides like this, or you can hold it in the middle like this. So you're gonna start your kick, breathe out, breathe into the side. Breathe out, breathe into the side. If you're swimming with a buddy like us, you wanna look at them. You don't wanna look forward, you wanna look down, smile at your buddy, look down, smile at your buddy, okay? Let's give it a shot, ready, set, go! Good, let's take a look at how they're doing. Perfect, do you see how their faces stay flat on the water? Great, their heads do not come up like this, to the side and down, to the side and down, perfect! Ready, go ahead and come back. Good job, everyone. You are doing freestyle. Half of it, we'll get to the rest. Good, breathe to the side. Cheeks on the water. <laughs> good, good. Okay, go ahead and put your kickboards up. We don't need them for this next thing. So one of our favorite things to do in beginner class is floating. We like to call it the starfish. So make sure you have a little bit of space. If you have to stagger, that's totally fine. Starfish means arms out, legs out, like a starfish. You wanna take a deep breath? Let's try it on our backs first. You're gonna look up at the sky. <gasps> Hold your breath and starfish lay back. Amazing, amazing. Good. If you're having a hard time, if you're sinking, try and keep your hips up to the top of the water. If you look at your feet, you're gonna fold, fold in half and sink, okay? So you wanna make sure to look up. If it's sunny, just close your eyes and relax. Good. Face up, hips up, tummy up. Nice, good job, everyone. Okay, good, let's try it on our tummy. So let's try and roll over. Take a deep breath and lean forward. Starfish on your stomach, faces in the water. Ready, set, go. Perfect, arms out, legs out, amazing. Good. Okay, so now in the beginning of our freestyle stroke, what we do when we kick off the wall is called a streamline. So now we're gonna do the same thing, floating on our stomach, but instead of starfish, start there, and then move to streamline. So stay in your spot. Start on starfish on your stomach, and then move to streamline. So if you're working with little ones, tell them to make a crocodile with their hands, big crocodile, and then put them up by their ears. Arms hug your ears. Good, just like Bianca's doing right here. 
Hugging her ears. Perfect. Perfect. Ready, set, go. Starfish to streamline. Yes, good job. Amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and head on back to the wall. Good job, everyone. Great, so let's head back to the wall. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna streamline off the wall, start our kick, and then come on back. No arms just yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna put one hand on the wall, both feet on the wall, one hand out in front of you, and then the back hand is gonna meet your front hand like this when you kick off, face is in the water, okay? One, two, three, streamline. Perfect. Good, and if you're comfortable, start your kick. Amazing. Good job, so where you're at now, go ahead and jump off and just streamline and start your kick and just kick all the way back to the wall. Ready, go. Good. Good job. Amazing, good job, everyone. Okay. So let's add our missing piece, let's add the arms. So in our favorite position, the beginning position, Supergirl, Superman, holding on to the wall, perfect. What you're gonna do is we're just doing the arms right now and then we'll put everything together. So you could be standing on the pool ground. We're going to pull all the way down our body, elbow comes up like a little tense, and then you grab the wall and switch. Pull, elbow, Grab, or pull, elbow, reach. Pull, elbow, reach. Good, pull, elbow, reach. Pull, elbow, reach. Pull, elbow, reach. If you're working with little ones, what's their favorite snack? Is it ice cream? Is it candy? Is it carrots? Go ahead, scoop those carrots, and then reach for more. Scoop the ice cream, and reach for more. Good, good. Okay, go ahead and pause. Now we're gonna add our breathing. So which side was your favorite? Did you like to breathe to the left or did you like to breathe to the right? For now, we're just gonna pick one because if we do both, you're gonna get so tired turning from side to side, okay? So we're just gonna pick one. For me, I like breathing out of the left side. So when my left arm makes that tent, that's when I'm gonna turn to the side to breathe before my hand reaches. So with my right arm, that means I'm just pulling. Pull and then breathe. Pull, breathe. Now with the arm that's pulling, you're blowing bubbles out, right? So blow bubbles, breathe in. Blow bubbles, breathe in. Let's not start our kick just yet. Let's go ahead and just do the breathing and the arms, okay? So pick your favorite side, could be left, could be right. Let's go ahead and try it. Feet on the floor, hold on to the wall, pull, and then breathe on your favorite side. Pull, breathe on your favorite side. Pull, breathe on your favorite side. Good. Good, how's everyone doing? Everyone's doing great? This is so exciting, you're learning freestyle. Amazing. Okay, once you feel comfortable, go ahead and grab your kickboard or your noodle or other flotation device, and you're gonna hold onto the middle because if you hold onto the side and you let go, the board is gonna tip. So hold onto the middle, so after you pull, you can just replace your hand in the middle of that noodle or of the kickboard. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna add it all together, kicking, breathing and arms, okay? Everyone ready? On your marks, get set, go! Pull and breathe. Breathe out, breathe in. Look at how their faces stay in the water and then their cheeks stay in the water as well. Perfect, good job you guys. Way to keep your heads down. Ready to come back? Ready, set, go! Good, great job, keep those heads down. Blowing bubbles out through your nose, breathing in through your mouth. <gasps> good job, good job. 
since it's kind of tricky adding everything together, we're gonna do that one more time. You are doing great. Let's try it one more time with the kickboard. Same thing with the kickboard. Take a breath. Ready, go. Good. So we're looking for straight legs, pointed toes, breathing to the side, and getting those arms out of the water. Perfect, good job. Let's come back. Ready, set, go. Very nice. Another key point is you wanna keep your fingers closed. You're not gonna scoop as much ice cream or carrots with open fingers, they're gonna go right through you. You gotta close them. Close those fingers. Good job, everyone. Okay, great. You already know what time it is. This is what happens. We put the kickboards down, and then it's time to do it without the kickboards. So as we're putting everything together, let's remember the very first part, which is our streamline. One hand on the wall, two, two feet on the wall, kick off, and then your hands go together. You start that kick, but remember, don't pick your head up like this. You know where you're going, it's okay. Keep your head down. When you make that first pull, that's when you can breathe to the side. So remember which side's your favorite, left or right. Make sure you pick and then pull and breathe on that first one, okay? Are we ready? Streamline, kicking, breathing in arms. Ready, set, go. Good job. Bianca's got it, yes, perfect. You're doing it, good job. All right, everyone come back, great job. Same thing, jump off in your streamline, freestyle back. Good. You're not gonna run into someone if you see them because you're turning to the side. You may run into them if you look up like this. So stay down, perfect everyone, good job. We're gonna do that one more time because we're putting everything together. It's a lot of work, it's a lot to think about all at once, so let's try it. Take a breath. You got it, putting everything together. Oh, shake it out. If you need water, go ahead and grab some water. You guys need a water break? You doing okay? Doing good? Okay, shake it out. Think about all the things. Kicking off the wall. Streamline, kick, breathing to the side, and arms. Okay, you ready? Set, go. Good, good. Look at that, so smooth. If you find that you're sinking, make that kick smaller and faster. Small, fast kicks. Good, good job. Ready and come back. Make your kicks smaller, make them faster. If you're picking your head up, remember your legs are gonna drop. So if you find yourself sinking, just keep your head down and breathe to the side. Good job, everyone. I have such great news. We have time to start on backstroke because you're doing so well. I got some really great swimmers in my class today. So if you need to take a pause and keep going through freestyle to make sure you got it, go for it and then come back because we're doing backstroke. All right, let's see how far we can get with backstroke. So it's the same exact kick that you just learned, except it's on your back. So let's try again like we always do on the wall. However you're comfortable, hold the wall, maybe your arms, maybe you need more space, reach out, or your elbows are on top of the deck. And let's try that flutter kick. So go ahead and turn around. You're gonna face this way. Try that flutter kick. Let's watch Bianca. How is she gonna do it? Perfect, just like that. Remember, same straight legs. Point your toes to help you keep your legs straight. Amazing. Good, good, not perfect, just like that. Because those small, fast kicks, remember, will help you lift your body and keep them up to the surface of the water. Amazing. Okay, great, let's go ahead and pause. You know what comes next, it's the kickboard. So let's start off first this way. You, let's hold the kickboard like this, you're gonna hug it like a teddy bear. And you're gonna float with it and then you're gonna start to kick, okay? So right on your chest, or if it's shaped this way and you don't want it running into your chin, you could put this side under your chin so it gives you a little bit of extra room. Sometimes it creeps up like this, which gets to be uncomfortable, so just make sure to press it down right over your stomach and your chest. Hold it tight like your favorite stuffed animal. So we're just gonna do the same flutter kick. You guys ready? And go. Perfect, good, look up. 
Remember, you don't want to look at your toes or you're going to bend in half and sink, okay? You want to stay straight and flutter kick, just like Bianca's doing right here. Perfect, Bianca. Good job, you guys. Good job. You're at the marker. You can go ahead and stand, turn around, and come back. Stand, turn around, and come back. I'll tell you before you come to the wall. It's actually really important for backstroke that if you have a buddy, they let you know if someone's on deck before you hit the wall because you don't want to hit your head on the wall. If you're at an LA City pool, sometimes we'll have our flags up. Watch the walls coming in, walls coming in. Good, perfect. And those flags are an indicator of when the wall is coming when you're doing backstroke. So if you didn't know, now you know. Perfect, okay. We're gonna do another way of how to kick on your back with the kickboard. So instead of like this, this is really gonna test your floating skills. You're gonna hold it on either side and you're gonna put it above your head. So again, the common thing that tends to happen is people look down or they scrunch up like this or they get so tense with their shoulders that they bend and they sink. So remember, try really hard. Put your arms behind your head, arms on your ears like this. Tummy up, face up, and kick, flutter kick, okay? Are you guys ready? All right, boards up, lean back, and go for it. Same kick that we learned for freestyle, also called crawl stroke, is the kick for backstroke. So you already know what to do. Straight legs, pointed toes. Perfect, good job, Bianca. Good job, everyone, you are at the marker. Good job, good job. Go ahead, turn around, boards up, and come back to me. Now you're actually gonna have the board in front of you, so the board might feel the deck, but you still always wanna be careful. Good job, good job. All right, coming in, wall's coming. Good, you're at the wall, you're at the wall. Perfect. Good job. Now let's do streamline on our back. Streamline is the same in this position too. Instead of on your stomach, you're just gonna turn over and you're gonna be on your back. But to do this, you're going to hold on to the wall. If you wanna hold it like this, maybe with me, Bianca. You're gonna put your feet on the board. Now it's really important that instead of pushing off like this, cause again, you'll fold in half and sink, right? You wanna look up, kick off, straight legs, straight arms into your streamline, okay? So let's try it. Again, same thing that we did with starfish, just hands together in your streamline. Nice, long, big kick. No arms yet. You guys ready? Ready, set, go. Good, good, oh, sunglasses. <laughs> good job, and so again, if your arms are bent like this, it's gonna be really hard to keep your tummy floating up, okay? Because everything just starts to crumble in. So really keep those arms straight, keep those legs straight, tummy up. You ready to come back? All right, turn around, streamline arms up, lean back, and then do your kicking. Perfect. Kick, kick, nice flutter kick, amazing. Amazing, good job. Oh, wall, perfect, good. All right, legs, breathing, our face is out of the water, so you're all good there. And now we gotta do arms. So you're already in the streamlined position. It doesn't matter what arm you put over the other, it's totally your choice. For me right now, my right arm's on the bottom, so what I'm gonna do, my right arm is gonna touch Right now, we're gonna be at, we're gonna stand up, facing away from the wall. So you'll touch the wall behind you, and then come up. Touch the wall behind you, and then come up. So let's try that. So step a little bit away from the wall, facing that way. Good, make sure you can still touch the wall, but that you're not gonna hit it with your forearm. Let's, yeah, maybe test it out. Perfect, good job. Great. Okay, so we're just gonna get the hang of this motion before we try it in the water. So arms up. Let's try it. Tap the wall behind you and come up. Just standing, perfect. Tap the wall behind you, come up. Good, tap the wall behind you, come up. Perfect. Do you think we can try it? Yes, without the wall, let's do it. Let's do it, okay. So remember, kicking off the wall, you're gonna look up, kick off, streamline, start your kick, 
and then you can add your arms. Kick always comes first, and then you can add your arms. Ready, set, go. Woo! Yes! The straighter the streamline is, the farther you're gonna go. So you're not gonna actually have to work that hard because it's gonna get you further. If you end your streamline too quick, that's the more kicking and arms that you have to do. So try and make that streamline last as much as you can. You guys ready to come back? All right, so face that way. Arms up, lean back, start your kick. Streamline in your arms. Good. Wall's coming up, watch the wall. Wall's coming up, good, good. So now you know both. You know freestyle and you know backstroke. So let's put them together. Let's do one lap of freestyle, turn around, come back. We'll do one lap of backstroke. You ready? Okay, so now change your mind up a little bit. How does freestyle begin? Start one hand on the wall, two feet on the wall, one hand out in front of you. Ready, go. Good, the stronger the streamline, the less work you're gonna have to do later. Perfect. Good, stand up, face this way. Turn around, streamline for backstroke, and come back with your backstroke. So you're learning freestyle and backstroke today. Or people call it front crawl and back crawl, same thing. Good, you're at the wall, you're at the wall. Good, good. Let's do that same thing one more time. You guys are doing so great. Same thing one more time. I saw straight legs. I saw breathing to the side. I saw really straight streamlines, so let's keep it up. If you're tired, I push you to keep going. You have this. Ready, set, go. Perfect. Look at that nice flutter kick. Good. Breathing to the side. Cheeks stay on the water. Right, go ahead, turn around. Arms up, face the other way. Kick off, streamline. Strong kick. Good. All the way back to the wall, adding your arms, closing those fingers on your pole. Amazing, you're at the wall, good job. All right, good job everyone. So today you learned freestyle and backstroke. We did a progression of kicking, breathing, floating, streamline, and arms. Good job, I am so proud of you. Thank you to all of my friends who did this class with me today, and thank you for joining us for this beginner's swim class. Remember to visit Rec Connect LA for all of your recreation needs, and come visit us at one of our LA City pools. See you next time.